Investigate. That's why you got that light. Yes, this light. Do you know how to turn it on? Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Of course I do. And uh, also today we are going to pop to the builder's merchant and get the paint that we want for the windows and for the walls. So that's what we're doing today. Are we going to crack on or no? We're not going to crack on, we're going to get cracking. Crack in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, while you're away, Mo, in Paris, yeah. I finished off all of the cutting in and the tops of the windows. So, that is done now. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> <laughs> I did a good job. There's just a tiny little area that needs like a little dab like that of pink paint. But apart from that, it's all done. Thank That's good. Christ. And now we need to do this, the windows. Luckily for us, all of these window frames, like so this comes off and also on the outside. So we haven't got to go painting around all the little Yeah, we we'll take them we off can take it and all the... off, paint it off of the window. And we'll clean the glass. And plus, if we look on the outside, if I can open this one, this all needs sanding off and repainting too. So once we've done the inside, we can then do the outside so that all the windows are done one by one. So it's not a big job. Okay. And that's it. I haven't been up here for a while. Yeah. (laughs) This part of the apartment needs a lot of attention. So we're gonna go room by room because if we keep going and painting and then going off and doing another one, I'd just rather do it all one by one and it's done. So, there's not a hope in hell I would fit my bum up there through that gap. (laughs) So that's where I want you to go and look though, up there. Wow, it's uh, tiny. Yeah, but you'll fit up there. Me? Why you'll me? You've got a skinny bum. Why me? <laughs> yeah, so we need to investigate because if there's pigeons living up there, it's going to be a nightmare when we move in and we're going to hear them, whatever noise they make and scratching. And so that needs to be looked at. So we need a ladder? Yes. Okay, I'm going to get my ladder. Okay. Everyone, <laughs> I am not Sadie. <laughs> so, once you 
you've got the ladder up there, I'm going to give you the camera so you can oh, yeah. film what's up there. And hang on, I'll get you the torch as well, this light. Mm. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'll open it first. Yeah. And then we'll, oh, we see. Oh, I find something. <laughs> Gold, it's gold. <laughs> oh, I can see millions of cobwebs. Oh, it's very interesting. I can already see from here, Mo, yeah. a big gap in the roof. That doesn't look good. There is loads of holes. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Loads of them. Right, come on then, get the camera. I can see the chimney breast as well. Yeah. And there is a... Uh... Is there any pigeons? I, I can't see if there is pigeon. But... You need to go up a bit higher, I think. Look. We need... We need Mikrisku. To do the to do the the roof because there is loads of holes on the roof, yeah. so I think uh, that's why we have all that dirty uh, walls. Yeah. Can you go up there, Mo? Yeah, I will. Wow, look at that! It's massive. Mm? I think it's and look at the holes in the roof. Yeah. Oh my god! We can. What, what we is can... that? Do you think? This w piece of wood. Of wood. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe just the. Oh, that's the um, that's above the staircase. You know, ah, that's the one, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I can see the staircase from here. Yeah. Yeah, from that uh, little. Uh... So this here is the chimney breast. This. But it's in the hallway. It runs along through the hallway through our downstairs shower room. So we can't actually have any open fireplaces because. We don't have access to it. Mm. But there is a million holes in the room. Whoa. We can see. We can see the. There is a, like a hallway here between the, the two apartments. Oh. And this is. And you know, here I am. I am I am on the staircase. Yeah. If I I fall down, I will go down <laughs> until the the basement. So we can see in here all of the beam work. So all of these beams here, and in the rooms downstairs. So right below here, we've got all of those like partition walls, basically where yeah. they boarded over the beams. And I was worried about those beams uncovering them because I thought potentially they can be in really bad condition. But, but actually, it's a very good condition. Looking at these ones, if they're similar, mm. they would be really nice if we could open because we only need to open two. There's one yeah. in Olivia's bedroom and one in our bedroom. The other one we'll keep because it's going to be part of a wall yeah. for our walk in wardrobe. But if these were all sanded off, and and varnished or um you know coated with something they'd actually be really nice i think yeah. be a nice feature in the room because looking at these ones they're all in really good condition especially these cross beams mm. We have some wasp. It's really dusty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So the attic roof is in desperate need of fixing. Luckily, it hasn't actually damaged the ceilings in here, I guess because of the, all the insulation and stuff, it stopped any sort of real dampness coming in. So Billy knows about the roof anyway, but obviously we haven't got a cherry picker at the moment. So getting up there is a bit difficult to inspect it. So luckily we did have a look now. Um, and yeah, so Billy is gonna fix the roof on these um, buildings because they are obviously, as you can see, in desperate need of attention. But yeah, so if you look here on the ceiling, <coughs> there's a few little damp patches and I guess that's obviously come through from the, from the ceiling. So, um, yeah, we'll have to get that roof patched up before, uh, before the real winter comes <laughs> and before we do any work up here as well, mm -hmm. because this floor will be done last because although it looks like it needs a lot, of work, a lot of work, it doesn't need kitchens and it doesn't need all of that big stuff. So what we'll do is once the downstairs floor is done, we'll get all this plastered properly, professionally, and they can do the roof, uh, the ceiling for us as well, patch that up. So we'll make sure the roof is done first. But anyway, we um, need to go to get the paint and everything. So we'll take you along with us. We're not gonna get little green paint. We're gonna get Dulux paint and try and match it with the little green color charts to Dulux color chart. similar colour we can find at the moment is probably this one for the china clay mid we found the china clay pretty much it's not exact but again this is not matte this is uh, uh, satin it's still too bright I think Okay, so we have found the colours. Otherwise, this is this is the colour we have, or this one. So this is the colour that we have, light peach blossom. This yeah. is for the windows, and this is for the walls. So for the walls, we have that and and that mm. like that. So it's a hell of a lot lighter, but the same tone. So we have the kitchen and the walls. Mm. Okay. And this for the window. Yes. So it's gonna look like that. Mm. See? It's good. Yeah. It just complements that pink but without looking pink. pink. So that on the wall, even though that is a pinky colour that one, it will look white it will look more white than it is pink. That's the plan. Are you happy with that mode? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Done. So let's get this mixed up and then we go back to the convent. We've just picked up something for Billy that he's put in, in his, um, his office. So we've got that already. We're just gonna get this done and go back. That's why we've got the truck. Go then. Well, we need to find somebody to mix the paint for us. Yeah, go find somebody. <laughs> We can't find anybody, Mo. Where are they? I don't know. Go and get someone. You need somebody? Yeah. Somebody! <laughs> Please!
pas en mieux. Ne vous inquiétez pas, c'est bien la teinte. Hein. Au séchage, vous ne voyez pas, mais au séchage, vous allez le voir. Peut-être, ouais. C'est que au séchage que vous allez le voir. Il y a toujours une différence, et heureusement d'ailleurs. Donc bien remélanger avant. Ouais, avant. Ça c'est sûr. S'il vous plaît. Mais là normalement. Right, so these are the paint colours. We've just got them home. We're not gonna actually paint with them. We're just gonna do a little tester patch to see how it looks tomorrow because it's uh, a bit late. We ended up being in there for two hours waiting for them to do the paint for us. <laughs> so this is for the wall? Yeah, so that's the... Do you want... No, I want to test it, it here. So test it on this edge. Don't go on mine. On yours? Yeah, what well, I already painted. <laughs> Look at that. Try to have the edge. Okay, now wax. I'm really on the wall so it gets a good point. We can't see the difference now until it gets uh, dry. dry. But we wanted really the whole of this room to be that dark pink colour that we've painted already. But it's just probably a bit too overkill. So we've chosen a really watered down version of it. So that... Uh, It keeps the room nice and bright and plus that will dry a lot lighter i reckon that color so it'll be if you didn't if you didn't look at it properly it wouldn't look too pink just a pink hue so this is the color that we chose for the woodwork so it's white colour but it's not really white it's the same tone as what we just put on the wall there the new paint just with a lot lighter base Bit on the heat. 
here too. So that's enough. We're just gonna let it dry and see how it is tomorrow.